The election might be over, but the future is far from certain. On Sunday, Montenegrins took to the polls in an early parliamentary election, which was meant to end deep political divisions and years of instability that have hampered the small NATO member country on its route to joining the European Union. Early polls are showing that the newly formed centrist movement Europe Now, led by Milo Kospaic, has secured a majority to win the elections, but without enough seats in the 81-seat parliament to form a new government on its own. Tonight we're here to celebrate a truly big victory, which is historic not just in Montenegro, but in Europe. I don't think this ever happened before in Europe, that a non-parliamentary party, which has existed since August of last year, for 10 months only, wins the election, and wins against those that usurped all the resources of this country. Unlike in previous elections, when the focal point of campaigning was whether the country should be leaning towards the EU or closer to Russia and Serbia, the economy and the living standards dominated the issues this time. The Democratic Party of Socialists, formerly led by ex-Prime Minister and President Milo Djukanovic, experienced a decline in popularity after 30 years of dominance, and the new leadership was looking for a chance to make a comeback. Late Sunday night, the Center for Monitoring and Research pollsters said Europe now won 25.6% of the votes and the Democratic Party of Socialists 23.7%. However, the DPS and a group of small allied parties are saying they won one parliamentary seat more than their opponents by their own vote count. The DPS, within the list of the coalition together, has the most mandates and is the strongest political power in Montenegro, with 18 of them. Europe Now movement has 17 mandates. You may think about lists. I'm talking about political powers. Things are clear and precise here. The State Election Commission is set to deliver the final results in the coming days, but the political instability is likely to continue, with no clear winner and difficult coalition talks ahead.